Hello and welcome back. Uh, this exercise now we're going to look at calculating, uh, let's call them posterior probabilities, or probabilities that allow us sort of to update uh, our information as, or sorry, update our probabilities as information becomes uh, available. So rather than try to explain uh, just exactly what that means, let's just go through this exercise and, and uh, I hope the process uh, through parts A, B, C, and D will help sort of build up to an understanding of what this means, this Bayes' theorem uh, concept. So let's just, uh, let's just go through and read our problem here. So we have a first year econ class, lots and lots of students in this class, so the instructor is fortunate enough to have two assistants to help with the marking. Uh, here we have Jordan and Tony. So I want to figure out a little bit about these people who are going to mark my assignment. So I talked to some friends and I find that 95% of the assignments marked by Jordan pass, 85% of those marked by Tony pass, uh, and it's safe to assume that they each mark about half of all of those assignments. Okay, so hopefully I get it marked by, uh, by Jordan. It seems like she gives easier, easier marks. So let's go part A. What is the probability of having Tony grade your assignment? So this information is really it's given to us right there in the problem. If it's safe to assume that they each mark half, then I think it's safe to assume that the probability of having it marked by Tony is equal to 0.5. Let's, uh, let's kind of extend that. Let me look that, make that five look a little bit more like a five. And we can also say, well, the probability also then of having it marked by Jordan must also be 0.5, right? 50-50. What is the probability that if Tony graded your assignment, you will pass? So here we're looking at what is the probability that I will pass given Tony marked my assignment. So given that Tony marked it, so okay, out of all of the assignments that Tony has marked, uh, what's, the per what's the probability of passing? Well, here I have well, 85% of, of those assignments marked by Tony receive a passing grade. So the probability of passing, given that it's marked by Tony, 0.85. Similarly, what's the probability of passing, given that it's marked by Jordan? So if we look at, at what's the likelihood of passing if Jordan marks it, out of all of the ones that she marks, Let's say there's a 0.95 probability or a 95% chance that I will pass if it's marked by Jordan. Okay, part C. What is the probability of having your assignment graded by Tony and passing? Okay, so now we're looking at the intersection between being marked by Tony and passing. So these two random events. Uh, what's the likelihood of both of these occurring. It's marked by Tony and I pass. So here we use, of course, the multiplication law. What's the probability that it's marked by Tony times, whoops, times the probability of passing if it's marked by Tony? So here we've got those numbers from the parts A and B. Probability that it's marked by Tony is 0.5 times the probability of passing, if it's marked by Tony, is 0.85. And so this gives us a probability of 0.425 if it's marked by Tony. So here's, if it's the intersection between Tony and passing is 0.425. We could do the same calculation uh, for Jordan as well. And we will, because actually we're going to need it uh, a little bit later. So what's the probability of having it marked by Jordan and passing? So same calculation, same rule, this is our multiplication law. Oops, except I don't want Jordan or Tony in there, I want Jordan times the probability of passing if it's marked by Jordan. So again this is 0 0.5 times 0 0.95, right? I'm just using the numbers from these previous questions. And this is going to be 0.475. So the probability that it is uh, marked by Jordan and I pass is 0.475. Okay, good. Without knowing, so part D now. 
without knowing who marks your assignment. What's the probability of passing? Okay, well, here I have the probability of passing if it's marked by Tony, probability of passing if it's marked by Jordan. Those are the only two options. So my probability of passing, well now this is going to be our addition law. What's the union of these two events? It's either this one or this one. I either pass and it's marked by Tony, Tony or I pass and it's marked by Jordan, right? We're looking at the union uh, of these two events. Let's just call it, to keep our notation simple, the probability of passing. And so this is going to be the union or the, the summation of the probability that I pass and it's marked by Tony plus the probability that I pass, whoops, uh, oh, what's going on? and it's marked by Jordan. So this is 0.425 plus 0.475, and this is going to be equal to 0 0.9. So there's our answer for part D. Without knowing who marks my assignment, completely random, there's a 90% chance of passing. Good. Hope this makes sense. Now, part E. This is now where the Bayesian updating comes in. What is the probability that if I pass, that it was Tony who graded it? So we're sort of working backwards now, right? All of these other problems we're looking at, what's the probability of passing if Tony marks it, or passing if Jordan marks it? Or what's the probability of having Tony mark it and I pass? Now we're saying, okay, now I know that I pass. I, I got my mark back. I see that I passed. What's the probability that it was Tony who graded it? So in order to do this calculation, now we need to use a different formula. So now we're going to look at what's the probability that it was Tony who graded it, given that I've passed. So notice how that's backwards relative to this statement here, which is saying, what's the probability of passing given that it was Tony who graded it? Now I want to see what is the prob probability that it was Tony given that I've passed. So what we need to do now, I need to look at, well, what's the probability that both Tony and pass happened. So the, the intersection between it was marked by Tony and I passed. Okay, so those two events have to happen in order to calculate this conditional probability. I both passed and it was marked by Tony, divided by the total probability that I've passed. So this is gonna be divided by the probability that it was Tony and I passed or uh, it was Jordan and I passed. So this denominator, well, this is the, the answer to, to part D here, right? We've already calculated this one, right? This probability that I pass, regardless of, I don't know who, who marked it. The numerator is then simply what's the probability that it was Tony who marked it and I passed. So you probably will see this written out a little bit differently uh, in your formula sheet or in your textbook as opposed to having all of these as intersections, right? I know that this numerator, this is the probability that it was Tony times the probability, I always write this wrong, times the probability of passing given that it was Tony. Is that a little messy. Divided by, so this first term in the denominator is the same as the numerator. Probability that it was Tony. And the probability, my goodness, the probability that I pass, given that it was Tony, plus uh, the probability that it's Jordan, times the probability of passing if it's Jordan. Okay, so those are, I'm just expanding those calculations for intersections. Now, parts A, B, C, and D, we've already calculated all of these probabilities. We've already calculated this one here. Notice that this is my 
answer to part C. Uh, sorry, part yeah, part C right here. So here I've already calculated that is 0.425. So this is going to be, let's come up here, 0 0.425 divided by 0 0.425 plus 0 0.475. So pulling out my calculator, move this over here. This is 0.425. 425 divided by, just going to open a bracket, 0.425 plus 0.475 and 0.47 and 22222. 0.472 repeating. So there's our answer to part E. If I pass this assignment, there's a probability of 0.47222 or let's say a 42% chance that it was marked by Tony. Okay, a lot of tedious calculations, but hopefully that sort of illustrates how these calculations work uh, and how we can sort of work backwards once I get this new piece of information. So here I've passed. Now I can work backwards to calculate the probability uh, in this case that it was Tony who graded it, or we could do the same thing and figure out what's the probability that it was Jordan. Okay, so I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.